In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use the theme reports to analyze your article and basically how to interpret the theme reports as well. Now, writing your article is a three-step process. We've got the three steps up here. You select your chosen theme words, you write the article, and then you analyze the article. And once you've analyzed it, you can then make adjustments as necessary. We're not going to cover points one and two in this particular video. We're going to look just at number three, analyze the article. Now the articles that I'm actually going to be using in this video are articles that I've picked up from ezinearticles.com and I've just pasted them into the editor so I, I can use those as an example. I've already done the keyword research and I've got theme words and I've got some theme phrases as well. And you can see down here I've got 43 theme words and 8 theme phrases. The 43 theme words are the 43 most common words that are found on the top 10 pages in Google as determined by using the keyword spider and then the uh, check theme words against top 10. If you want to learn how to do that, go and have a look at the video on using the keyword spider and that explains that. Let's go and have a look at the theme report because that's the important one. And when you click on the theme report, it analyzes the article against the words that you have said are the important ones and also the theme words. So let's have a look what the theme report actually tells us. We have theme word counts, so the word astigmatism, which is what this article is about, was found 11 times and so on. You'll see some of them have zeros and the next bit of the report actually lists those theme words that we said were important that are not found in the article and here they are. And then we go down and it's got theme phrase counts. And as you can see in this case, none of the theme phrases actually were found in the article. At the very bottom we've got a summary and it tells us how many words in the article, in this case 435. It says the total number of theme words that were used, that's 57. The different theme words used, 22. So there was 22 theme words used and those 22 theme words combined um, to be used 57 times in total. That 22 uh, different theme words represents a percentage of 51% or 51.2% of our original keyword list. So it's using just over half of the, the words that we said were important. The themed percentage, 13.1, basically looks at the, the number of theme words that have been used in, uh, as a sort of a percentage of the total number of words in the article. So in this case, it would be 57 divided by 435 times 100 and that's equal to 13.1%. That equates to one theme word every 7.6 article words. Theme phrases, it's a similar to theme words. In this case we haven't got any so all of these figures are zero. Uh, and then at the bottom we've got theme score and quality theme score. Now the theme score is a measure of uh, how well themed the article is with reference to the, to the theme words that you said are important. So if you said that 43 theme words are important and you've only used 50% of them, then your theme score is going to be, it's going to be difficult to get 100% because you're using only a small proportion or 50% of the theme words that you originally intended to. So, you know, if this figure is low, one of the things you can look at is to try to increase the theme words that you're actually using on the page and possibly even reducing the, um, the number of times you use some of those theme words, which we'll look at in a moment. The quality theme score uses another calculation and this is something that you can ignore if you want to but um, this the idea behind this is that it looks for over optimization of your content and you can have a look inside the options to actually specify this over optimization penalties are here but but that's for another tutorial really. One of the things you'll notice on here is that you've got this list of theme words and phrases that are not found in the article and because you're probably going to want to put some of them in the article what you can do is you can click on this button here open missing keyword helper and this screen appears. Now this screen is really useful because what you can do is you can select words from here the instructions are down here. If you double click a word it will add that word so I've just double clicked the word special, it'll add that word to the clipboard and then wherever I want to put that into my article I can basically just paste it. An option you've got is to select the delete on double click so let's say I am going to put that word special in again this time when I double click it it disappears from the list so all I need to do is make sure that I put that in wherever it makes sense 
into my article. Obviously, it doesn't make too much sense there, but then I can move on to the next one. And this way, I can work in all of the words and phrases that I initially said were important. One of the things I said on the theme report, if we bring that back to the front, is that if we want to decrease... So we've got 22 words there used 57 times. Maybe we need to reuse some of those words a few less times. If we have a look at the list at the top, um, we can see this word I was used 11 times, uh, astigmatism 11 times. Well, one of the things we can do in the options is, at the moment, this report, it will warn me if any keyword is used more than 5% or any phrase more than 2%. But I could always reduce this. Let's say we'll reduce it down to 2% and see if that makes any difference. And then we can rerun the theme report. And if we look at the theme report now, we can see that there is actually a warning here. Let's see if there's any more. And there's a warning here down there as well that says this word here, astigmatism, exceeds your chosen maximum density, which we've just set for 2%. And that means it shouldn't be more than eight occurrences in the article. And you'll see the same down here. 2% eight occurrences. So what you could then do is you could go in here and you could look for the word astigmatism and maybe change it for something else. And one of the easiest things you could do is you could right click the word, bring up the thesaurus and then have a look to see if there's anything you might use instead. Astigmatic sight. Okay, so you can easily change that. If we were to do the theme report again, you'll see now that's gone down to 10. Let's have a look for another astigmatism uh, we may not actually have too many synonyms for this, let's just put astigmatic site again for that that will bring us down to another one and we'll change another one if you run the theme report now we see that warning has now disappeared Let's have a look at another article. This is another one from Easing Articles. If I bring up the theme report, you can see that the word astigmatism is now 27 times. And there's a few warnings there because we've still got the maximum density set at 2%. If we scroll down, we can see theme phrases. This theme phrase has been used 23 times. Again, they're just warnings to tell you perhaps this has been put in a few too many times. But it's not an exact science, so don't worry too much. Now, if we look at the uh, article summary, we can see this article has over a thousand words, so potentially it's much better, but it's got a very low quality theme score. It's well themed because there's 100% theming, and there's one theme word every 5.8 article words. However, this quality theme score, if we have a look, um, we can have a look up here and see that, again, only 26 of the 43 very important words have been used. Now, in an article of this size, we would expect more of our 43 theme words to be used and we've only used 60 and a half percent so this low quality theme score is saying yes it's well themed as you can see here but it's not really quality themed for the 43 theme words that you said were important now just for a little experiment here we've still got the same theme words let me load in the URL of the page that is currently number one in Google for astigmatism and that's the Wikipedia page. Here you can see the Wikipedia article on astigmatism. We can run the theme report for it. We can see astigmatism there. We've set a, a density of 2% and we've got third 48. Scroll to the bottom and have a look. Okay, this one is 1900 words in length. It's used 179 theme words and it's used 34 of our 43 so it's used nearly 80% of our theme words and there's one theme word every 10.6 article words now obviously Wikipedia also has a certain level of authority which helps in, in its ranking but the theme score 100% yes it's well themed quality theme score the software finds no problem at all with this article so um, you've got the theme score you've got quality theme score if you want to ignore the quality theme score you can because that includes any penalties that the software might award an article but uh, I find it a very useful measurement in trying to make sure my articles are not over optimized and to make sure that I've used a good a selection of the theme words that I say are important and in fact if I've got 43 theme words that I think are important because they're the ones that are found the most in the top 10 of Google then I will try and get 43 theme words in there even if it means I have to increase the length of my article